Well, good morning. Uh, I'm well into a 25k now and the sun is rising. Uh, although it looks a bit wishy-washy today, that's just because the air is full of sand, dust uh, and it's a bit humid as well. Uh, so, uh, as I said, maybe uh, 17, 18 kilometres into a 25. Uh, so, uh, I'm regularly getting under five hours for 25 kilometers now in this countryside so today I want to talk about nutrition and uh, the crap which is sold under the guise of food um, don't eat it uh, all processed foods they're not food in the tr truest sense they're full of emulsifiers and, and who knows what chemicals it was made in a laboratory uh, and it was made to get you addicted to buy more. Uh, so, look at the sugar content. Is it processed? Look at the sugar content. Look at the calorie content. Uh, this nonsense about uh, less fat, uh, you know, a lower fat, lower calorie version of anything might only have 1% less fat. That's the scam. So, as I said, uh, eat whole. Eat raw if you can. Don't eat processed food. Read what's in it. All these numbers and chemicals. And, you know, bread is full of sugar. Added to which, most countries in the world now are licensing the use of insect flour, for God's sake. What the fuck? Insect flour, ground up crickets to put in your food. Especially bread, because it goes into flour. Uh, I don't know, you know, don't eat it. Just take bread out of your diet. Why would you eat uh, Oh, I'm lost for words of why you would eat the nonsense. Uh, and, you know, eat well, eat whole, and you'll feel better. You'll have less headaches, you'll have less illnesses, you'll feel stronger, you'll ache less, your joints will ache less, because you eliminate chemicals going into your body. Your body doesn't know what to do with these chemicals. It treats them as poison. That's why you feel like shit. So, it's getting no cleaner, this air. It is full of sand. Uh, I can hardly see five kilometres here. That little village down in the bottom is five kilometres from here. Uh, and I can hardly see it. The sun's wishy-washy. But don't let that fool you. It's baking hot. It's humid. The wind is like, I don't know, standing in front of a fan heater. That's how hot it is here at the moment. I guess certainly 40 plus. <clears throat> so nutrition. As I ranted to you before about eating rubbish, look, uh, eat what you want. I don't care. Uh, just I've done my uh, due diligent research and, and uh, I know what's right for me and I stand in these aisles in supermarkets and look at this stuff that's uh, promoted as sports food, health food, to use in training these nutrition bars, protein bars and protein shakes. It is absolute poison. Don't, stop, stop eating it. <coughs> look, <coughs> excuse me, sand in the air. Uh, these nutrition bars that say 19% protein, uh, what kind of protein? How does your body get it? And what other chemicals are in there? Uh, I just, I just don't see it. Uh, why not eat an egg? A hard-boiled egg has 48% protein. Your body absorbs that 48% protein. Um, and remember, the, the the only vitamin that's not in a hard-boiled egg is vitamin C. So there's your snacks. There's your boost. There's your protein boost. A hard-boiled egg. A couple of hard-boiled eggs. And there's your protein boost. Um, and you see guys in gyms um, do it, taking these pre-workout shakes. What the fuck? I don't get it. Eat some real food. It is that simple. Eat some whole food, some real food. Y you won't need none of that nonsense. It's invented in a laboratory for profit and nothing else. Don't fall for it. Eat healthily. 
eat whole foods. If you must, you know, fasting, uh, when you eat dinner at seven o'clock or so in the evening, don't eat anything else. Uh, don't eat breakfast the next morning, fast until lunchtime. You'll see amazing results. Your body will literally eat the excess fat that you're knocking your pipe out trying to get rid of. Just eat at seven, eat properly, drink lots of water, fast overnight. You're asleep for eight hours for God's sake. Uh, miss breakfast and then midday eat a healthy lunch and then seven o'clock eat a healthy dinner and start all over again. You will be amazed at how fast your body will eat the fat that you're trying to get rid of, slugging your guts out on bloody running machines and nonsense like that. Look, change your lifestyle. Eat properly. The body's not designed to take the chemicals that you're putting in it every day, week after week, month after month, and, and decade after decade. Stop eating it. So, the last couple of things I want to talk about, uh, sort of leading on from what I said about fasting. Look, if, if you can't give up breakfast, if you can't fast till lunchtime from dinner the night before, then eat a breakfast that's worth eating. For instance, uh, organic Greek yogurt with some berries which have the seeds in them. Strawberries, blackberries, red currants, black currants, things like that, that have the seeds in. That's all you need. Everything is in there. Some organic Greek yogurt. Mix in some berries. No sweetness, no sugar. If you can't go without sugar, here's an alternative. Eat honey. Sweeten your things with honey. It's a wonderful thing to put in your body. There are so many benefits in eating honey. So if you can't go without sweetness, honey. If you can't go without breakfast, Greek yogurt and some berries with the seeds in. Entire berries, strawberries, blackberries, red currants, uh, that sort of thing. Now, uh, I've never mentioned alcohol, so if you're a drinker, then I don't know what to say to you. If you're going to carry on drinking, you're going to carry on drinking. Uh, I don't know what to say. But the sun, your body turns that alcohol that you're putting in your body immediately into sugar. I don't need preach to you about it. You know what is right for you. So, thank you for coming by. Uh, if you like the tips and hints that I am leaving you, uh, please give me a subscribe and press the bell button and uh, you'll be informed on YouTube when there is a new video, possibly every day. So, I'm getting towards the end of my 25k now. Uh, it's going to be satisfyingly well under five hours. It's been hard this morning, but there we are. See you tomorrow. Well, that's, that's bang on 25 kilometers, four hours, 47 seconds. Sorry, 47 minutes, four hours, 47 minutes. And uh, I'm over the moon. Uh, it's blisteringly hot now. Uh, the cicadas are singing, so that's a sign of more heat to come. Uh, so, I'm over the moon with the time, the course. I've got half a kilometre to go to get back to my front door, but uh, I stopped the clock at 25 kilometres and it was a great time for me. So, uh, back tomorrow, see you again tomorrow. Uh, and remember, nutrition, uh, because fitness, believe me, is built in the kitchen. It's not built in the gym.